Hello and welcome again to my humble abode. Today I'd like to show you what I've been doing to make a farm. It's coming along slowly and the last thing I need to do is to, to bring some power to it. So what I'm doing for power is I'm going to use um, some advanced solar panels, which are quite difficult to make. And one thing you do need for advanced solar panels is, let's have a look, it's this irradiated reinforced plate. The rest of the things are fairly straightforward, solar panels, just a generator, some electrics, electronic circuits, glass and coal. These are the irradiated glass panes are straightforward enough as long as you have some glowstone, it's just reinforced glass which is gla two advanced alloys and the rest is glass. The irradiated adri um, Uranium is relatively straightforward, just one uranium or yellow ring ingot surrounded by four glowstones, and that gives you the irradiated uranium. And what else do we need? Advanced alloy is fairly straightforward, advanced circuits are fairly straightforward, but this one here is going to be tricky. This, this level is not a problem, one diamond, four redstone, one scenarium piece. Now this is actually that is actually quite tricky. You have to make this molecular transformer and it needs a glowstone dust. So let's go and get that done first of all. I've already made this molecular transformer at the beginning of the when I made my first advance through the panel. So at the moment it's uh, I'm going to have to make another one here. We have this device here. And what I have to do is put a few glowstones in there. So let's just put in say four. And then out of the bottom we shall get scenario pieces. And it's the progress comes along here. And it requires one million EU, which will be coming from the uh, generator here. As you see, it makes quite a good little graphic. So this will of course be using the power on the uh, on the charge pad. In fact, while I'm, while I'm waiting for this to happen, let's just stand on the charge pad and charge myself up again. I'm feeling a bit flat today. In fact, this takes quite a long time. So we don't need to watch it all. We can do and go and do other things while this is happening. Let's wait for me to be fully charged. 100% energy level perfect. But I do have one scenario. And that device was actually quite difficult to make. Let's go back to here. The recipe for that was one of these molecular transformers. And the molecular transformer is this device. And that's not no problem. Advanced machine casing is no problem really. EV, EV transformers, again, it's expensive, lots of diamonds not impossible and the empty cores is this uh, irradiated glass and this thick neutron reflector which is just copper plate and neutron reflectors which are tin dust around a copper plate that's no big deal either what is actually quite hard to do in this in the advanced um, is, is iridium it's very very difficult to find in fact I think I found about four blocks in the whole time and one of those was in a chest. So, so this component's really tricky to make because it requires this reinforced iridium iron plate, which is, this is no problem, but this is the one that's a problem. We need to find these iridium ingots. So what I have done is I have got with me, that's another copper ore. In this chest here, I've got a, Another uh, another iridium ingot. Another ingots are actually really good. What you do, if you're not sure how to process this, if you press the U on the device when you're pointing to it, it shows you how to do it. So obviously you can smelt it, you get two. You can macerate it, you get four, much better. You can put it in a redstone furnace and you get two. 
you can pulverize it and you get four you can put it in the induction smelter with sand and you get two ores and here you get with the rich slag you get three ores so that looks like a very good way of going on about this and if I press you on this device here we should be able to get pyrothium dust gives me iridium ingots or I can do crushed iridium ore in the macerate I'm getting two in the pulverizer two plus a third and in the induction smelter with some more rich like I get three so I should be able to get nine out of this ah if I use cinnabar I should be able to get even more so let's use cinnabar because this is so rare so I need two cinnabars if I hold down the air control and press left click move the cross like that so here we go uh, induction smelter Oh, what have I got in here already? Copper ore, which I've done from air. Uh, it's now full. I better get rid of some stuff. Let's go and put this copper ore in the segment. Oh, the segment's getting full. In fact, that'll work for the time being. Right, back to induction smelter. So, nether plus one rich like I think it was. should give me three ores. Let's hope that was the right recipe. Yes. Out of here I get a slack. So if I now put these three ores back, and I've got three ores with three cinder bars. I need another cinder bar. So we already have, so from one nether ore we end up with um, 12 ingots of iridium, that's really great, because that stuff is just so rare, rare. Back to the drawing board here. So then after that you can make this quite straightforward, it's just uh, iron around one ingot, so let's do that first of all. In fact, what I'm going to do is make two of these. And I'm going to surround it all by that. And I shall put this iridium back in the chest here the next time. Well, I would do if I could find it. What did I do with it? So, a quick sort. Let's go and put the slag and the rich slag back in here. If we don't need that, let's go and see how that sunium thing that's doing. I don't have an anchor in here, but it doesn't matter that much. And sure enough, I've got four. Perfect. Looks like another one's being made because it still looks like it's turned on. Ah, oh, maybe one more. Right. Back to the process here. What I need to do is to make this. So once I've made this device here, which is fairly straightforward, we already have one of those, yes? So I need four advanced alloys, plates, and I also need four carbon plates, and one iridium plate, gives me this reinforced plate, this is the one I want now, so we just need four redstone, on the scenario, two lapses, and one diamond. And there we have this irradiated 
reinforced plate. Now, so that's basically I have everything to do, make this now. So we put one reinforced plate here, two advanced uh, circuits here, one solar panel, two more reinforced alloys. Three glass. And we have one advanced solar panel. And this thing is also used in the advanced helmet here, which I think I'm going to do us fairly soon as an advanced that with a nano suit helmet, which I already have, and two more advanced plates. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, now let's go back to the farm and see how we're doing. The farm is actually in this direction. And you can see I've already set up a lot of this. We already have a chest full of the stuff that's going in and out. The farm's got some some dirt and some trees in there. And here we've got the aqueous accumulator with some uh, hardened fluid ducts pumping into the valve here. So the last part of this puzzle was to put some um, electricity on it, which is what I've got this solar cell for. The nice thing about the advanced solar cell is it will also do it Oh, it's night time, I thought it was. Oops, missed that. Yes, it will also generate electricity at night. So let's just, I will fly to the um, farm on the outside. How just the ordinary way? see the power cable coming out so keep my eye on that window I should have with me some cables yes it's funny how these cables actually connect to the stone I'm not quite sure what that means actually it's my solar panel let's put that here Maybe, I do Maybe I should put that down one more piece, so let's just move that. So it's not a um it's not industrial craft so I can hit it with a sledgehammer without it breaking. Let's take this one off. Oops. Let's put the solar panel down here now. But what I will do, because I'll remove this one as well. Uh, I've put some cable down here. I think this will be okay. Yes. Right, now we have power. Let's quickly go into the farm. I just. Let's see what's happening. So there's no power. I may not have enough power, I don't know. It should have power. How can I tell if this is working? No. Nope. Alright. That's a bad start. Let's go and try something else then. Let's go back to the workshop. There's quite a few anchors there. And I shall have to think about this. Anyway, I think when that started to run, I shall see some farm. And then we shall try to do the industrial hemp. I, and I think that's all I'd like to say for today. Goodbye, and until next time.